welcome back so far so good you have learned about parameters argument positional argument keyword argument default parameter values now we want to learn about arbitrary arguments and arbitrary keyword argument let's demonstrate this with an example so supposing we have a function called add let's say funk and then the parameter of this function is just ax okay and then all that we want to do is that we want to return the submission using the inbuilt some function all right of these arguments and after that let's pass in some values for our function to add so one let's say five seven nine let's say two and then let's run this and see what we get we are getting an error our function takes one positional argument but five were given so supposing we are writing a function or we write a certain function and then we don't know the number of arguments that our function takes what can we do we have something called arbitrary argument we just can face this by just adding a star here and then we are good to go all right so this star here changes everything and mind you this is just a variable the axe that we have placed here is just a variable so you can use anything that you want but the normal thing that you normally see in documentation and the standard thing that python developers use is this axe so if you run this we are getting 24 okay now supposing you don't want the inbuilt python summation function okay you can actually write your own so here all that we have to do is that we have to define a variable called let's say total it can be anything that we want it's just a variable equals zero then after that we will try and add the values in the argument to this total so we have to use for loop here to iterate over the argument and then we say for num the num2 is also a variable in ax all right what should we do we should just add the values of this num to the total as simple as that and then we are done so here we can actually return total and we are good to go so if you run this you'll get the same thing as we did before let's talk about arbitrary keyword argument using the same ideology let's define another function called add func2 and then here we use quats it's just a variable it can be anything this is just representing keyword arguments okay and then what you should know is that we said that for arbitrary argument use star right ax but for arbitrary keyword argument we just use double star here and we are good to go so we here we want to return the summation of the arbitrary keyword argument that we pass in here so quats as simple as that and then let's try and pass in some values and see what we will get so you have to know how to define keyword argument right we have learned it for that you have to define some variable and then attach a value to it so here we have a variable called number one and then its value can be anything let's say 40 we are just passing in let's say three keyword arguments so num2 can be what five and then num3 can be let's say one this is the arbitrary keyword arguments that we have passed in here so let's run this code and see what we get if we run it we are getting an error unsupported operand type for plus int and star so the interpreter is trying to add some strings and then integers together all right so let's try to see the kind of data type that our quarks is okay so let's print let's say quarks here and see something so that we get a fair knowledge of the data that we are trying to sum together so the data type of our quarks is a dictionary that is why we are getting that kind of error so the python interpreter is trying to add the keys and then the values together which is not possible okay so the variable that we define here is actually a key and then its value is a value the right hand side is a value so now that we have a fair knowledge of our data being a dictionary then we can use the knowledge that we have on dictionaries to actually achieve what we want and what we want is that we just want to add the values in the dictionary okay so we have to access the values in the dictionary and then add them together how can we do that we can just define another total or whatever that you want a variable okay equals zero as simple as that then we access the values in the dictionary 
so for let's say v it can be any variable that you want in quarks now we know that quarks is a dictionary right so quarks dot what how can we access the values in the dictionary dot values all right we are good to go then what can we do here total plus equals v as simple as that and then here we return total so now if you run this function we are getting 46 our function runs smoothly so from now on what you should know is that whenever that you don't know the number of keyword arguments your function will get you can use this quarks and then you must know that the data type of your quarks is a dictionary so you have to apply the knowledge that you have in dictionaries to achieve what you want okay you can add what we have learned previously that is the default parameters and default arguments positional argument to these arbitrary argument and arbitrary keyword argument to get what you want so we will talk about that as we progress these are some very important concepts that you should know i'll be very happy if you can hit the like button and then if you haven't subscribed to the channel you do that for me so that our videos can reach higher audience bye bye for now see you in the next video where we'll talk about more advanced topics bye bye